While OpenAI was having insane drama with their CEO in the final quarter of 2023, Anthropic smelled blood and they released Claude 2.1, and people are saying it is 100% better than GPT-4. Without further ado, let's test it out. Jumping right into it, man, one of the main updates for Claude 2.1 is their new 200,000 token context window. They are doubling the amount of information that you can relate to Claude, which is insane. Another huge update. They also decreased the hallucination rate by two times, which means Claude has made meaningful improvements in comprehension and summarization, particularly for long complex documents that demand a high degree of accuracy, such as legal documents, financial reports, and technical specifications. And with that being said, man, Claude 2.1, let's jump right into it, man. First off, man, we're just gonna test out text summarization. So we have a quick question for Claude 2.1. We're gonna ask it to explain antibiotics versus antiseptics. Let's see how comprehensive it is. That wasn't even a second, man. Clock Super One gets right to business. Just start putting in work, puts his hat on, gets his lunch pail, and just starts putting in work. As you can see, antibiotics work systematically. They're specific. Antiseptics work locally. Antiseptics are broad spectrum, which means they work against a wide range of bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Absolutely insane knowledge. All right, we have another prompt about antibiotics. Basically, we have a little text prompt, and we're going to ask you to analyze the above sentence. So, less than two seconds, man. Antibiotics are medications that kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria to treat bacterial infections, just like that. So, as you can see, Claude can analyze text within quick second you can also act as a dictionary and uh, give an explanation of what words are and give you context of the words instead of just a de definition which is absolutely insane next we're going to quickly test out information extraction so we have a quick paragraph uh, basically referencing ChatGPT, and we're going to ask it to mention the llm product mentioned in the paragraph above and as you can see man it is ChatGPT that we're referencing and we have a question for claude there is a substance that traces its roots to a New Jersey drug company. We want to know where this drug was originally sourced from based on the context we gave it. And the answer is mice. It was sourced from mice. The answer is within the context. So next we're going to do some text classification. So we're going to ask Claude to classify this text into neutral, negative, or positive. So bam, man, as you can see, there is both a negative and positive element mentioned which is absolutely correct. So Claude is definitely proficient at text classification. Next up, we're exploring a little bit of conversation, man. We have this prompt right here. The following is a conversation with an AI research assistant. Greeting, I'm an AI research assistant. How may I help you today? Human, can you tell me about the creation of black holes AI? Claude is gonna finish this conversation with the tone of technical and scientific. And basically, man, as you can see, they answered the prompt, but it is more conversational makes it a little bit more easy to understand rather than them just giving us a definition or an answer. If you'd like to understand a prompt maybe a little more concise or a little simpler terms, man, you could use conversation prompts and just like that, Claude will adjust. Speaking with conversation prompts, man, the following is a conversation with an AI research assistant. The assistant answers should be easy to understand even by primary school students. I'm an AI research assistant, how can I help? Human, can you tell me about the creation of black holes? So, bam! Hello. Black holes are created when a really big old star dies. The star runs out of fuel and then shrinks down, down, down until it's incredibly tiny. The gravity gets so mighty that even light can't escape it. That's why black holes are black. Anything that comes near it gets pulled inside. Next, man, we're gonna ask a quick question about code. So, ask the user their name and say hello. And bam, man, as you can see, we did not need to specify any coding language, but they, but they determined that this is JavaScript and they gave us the code that we can copy down right here, which is absolutely insane, man. We're going to ask Claude to create a whole entire ping pong game using Python. Let's see if it can get us lit. And as you can see, man, two seconds and they already getting us lit, man. Left paddle, right paddle, <laughs> ball speed. Oh my God, they're getting us lit, getting us right, and giving us vibes. And bam. Sickly. Sick. And just like that, man, you can see our Python game is here on the screen. Claude 2.1 is very, very capable, more than capable, as you can see. Without further ado, man, this is the creator of Family. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, I'm out of here. Make sure you turned up, throwing up on the rugs. Heel upstairs, turned up with the thugs. Ay, ay, ay. Deal upstairs, turned up with the thugs. Ay, ay. You wanna your friends, you wanna your friends. Ay, you wanna your friends, you wanna your friends. Ay, I just pulled up in the bins. You wanna your friends, you wanna your friends. Ay.